Today I'm going to be putting on the sound deadening onto the sides of the van, onto the wheel arches of the van and onto the back doors of the van. So any area where this sound deadening needs to go in. And the reason I'm putting in sound deadening is because I toured Europe last year for nine months in a Globetrotter five berth camper. And I remember driving it along on the Autobahn or wherever. It used to rattle like crazy. And it was the most noisiest thing you could ever hear. And you'd sleep in, in, in the bed at night and you could just hear the, the rain hitting on the, the roof. Then I discovered sound deadening and I was like, that's it. That's what it needs. To reduce the external noise like rain or the vibrations of the road coming up. Particularly coming up through the wheel arches of the van. And areas like the two back doors and the, the side sliding door are probably one of the areas that make the most noise. That's just from my own experience, that's the reason I'm doing it. And also because I want to give it a, an extra kind of layer of sound proofing. As you can see, I've already mentioned that on this van, because it's an X EHL van. So if you look, you can see that they've already put in some sound deadening in some of the areas up here but they haven't put it in in the middle sections where the windows are but they have put it in up onto the ceiling so look you can see it up there all on the ceiling and you can see it up there they've put it in and they've painted over it this must have gone in in factory. They've also they've also put it in down here. Now the areas they haven't put it in is the middle sections there. The reason it's one of the most important areas is because it's one of the largest areas of metal where it's not kind of braced apart from this brace here. If you listen to the areas where it has sound deadening here then you come up here you can clearly hear the sound deadening at work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the wheel arches so what I'm using is this stuff called Dodo Dead Mat Hex it's a uh, from a sound deadening company in the UK what it is is it's got a sticky like a like almost like tar like substance on the back of it bought it in these sheets and the reason I bought it in these sheets is because you don't need to actually cover the entire area you just have to cover a percentage of the area I'm not too sure of what the percentage is but uh, I know just by looking at the stuff that's already on the van when I bought it that they're only like they're thin strips in, a, in, in each panel and that seems to be, even when you, you can, you can hear the difference just by that, just by a small tin strip.
now that I have this wheel arch covered in the sound deadening I'm going to now cover it with super foil vapor barrier and then I'm going to seal it with some thermo wrap insulation foil tape and then that means that the vapor barrier will be from here to the floor the king span will go in as far as up up around here I'm choosing to do it this way because I like the idea of the vapor barrier running from the side of the van down to the floor of the van and then the insulation coming in here the arch the wheel of the arch the arch of the wheel the wheel the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel. this is called you can get it on amazon Just roll it out and then place it on top of it. Just like that. I'm gonna leave a bit. Probably just about, about that much and then good there and then I'm gonna cut it down about here and now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this thermo wrap foil tape to make sure it sticks to the side of the wheel arch.
I'm not going to be sound deadening the middle panel where the window is going in because obviously there's no point. So I'm going to sound deaden the rest of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut tin strips and I'm going to place them all on the panels and yeah, here we go. The sliding door is the same as the two back doors. The bottom of the door already has sound deadening already installed and where the window is it needs some sound deadening and also on the top part of it. And then once I finish this there's some other sections of the on the roof on the very sides of the roof I'm going to put the remaining um, sound deadening and then after that, I'm going to get stuck into the floor.
So now I'm going to put the sound deadening on the back doors of the van. But before that, I'm going to put some Sika Flex in between the back panel along here and the actual door because what I've noticed is there's a there's bonding that goes in here but it's it's come away from the actual I don't know if you can see that but the bonding has the bonding has come away from the door panel and you can hear it that it's uh, making a rattle so I don't want to be I don't want that, that rattle to get worse. So what I'm gonna do is stick some Sika Flex in there and hopefully that will, that will seal the gap and stop it from rattling. Happy days. Got my strips cut for the sound deadening for the back panel, for the back doors. I'm gonna stick them on. Don't need to put it on down here in the lower section because or the higher section because it's already been put on the sound deadening was on the van when i bought it but just this middle section where the window would be i'm going to stick on this sound deadening that's that side done so now i'm going to switch over to the other side and Put the sound deadening on the opposite door. Let's go. And again, just like the other panel, I'm not going to put it on the top here because it already has it. It already has it on the bottom section of the the back door, the door. So I was I was quite lucky that the DHL already put in sound deadening all over this van so now I've got all the van ripped out I've got the sound deadening done and I've also got the vapor barriers on the wheel arches and I'm ready for the floor to go down with the instrument. 